Good day everyone, this is me, Teacher Sharnina Saleda, your computer teacher. Our topic for today is all about drawing lines and shapes. When you look everywhere, like in school, or at home, or other places, you will see different things. These things are made up of different lines, which are then make up different shapes that you see around us. When you two, when two points connect with each other, it will form a line. This can be a horizontal, vertical, diagonal, or slant and curved line. On the screen, you can see different types of lines. When different lines connect with each other, this forms different kinds of shapes, just like this one. Some examples are circle, oval, triangle, square, and rectangle. Don't you know that we can also create this type of shapes using the TaxWing application? First, we need to select the paint tool. But before that, let's create first a new page for our drawing. For us to be able to create a new page, we're going to select the new tool. After selecting the new tool, we are now going to choose one specific color background for our drawing area. For an example, I'm going to choose the pink color. After selecting your desired color background, you're now going to select the open button. After selecting the open button, as you can see now, the color background is already applied on the screen. After that, we can now select the pink tool. Or, you can even use the shape tool for you to be able to insert or create the shape here in our drawing area. For now, we are going to use the shape tool. As you select the shape tool on the left side corner of the paint screen, you can see here on the right side corner the different types of shapes that you can use. The first kind of shape that you can use or that you can insert here in our drawing area is the circle. Just select a specific uh, shape that you want to insert. After selecting it, you're now going to proceed to the drawing area and using the left button of your mouse, you're going to press and hold it until you create your desired shape. A circle is a perfect round shape that has no sides and corners. Another shape that you can create using this tool is the oval. Okay, we can just, if you cannot see your desired shape here on the different tools of shapes or different kinds of shapes, you can just adjust or you can just create your own shape here on the shape tools application as you can see here there is no oval shape here that is recommended but you can create your own or you can adjust the shape of the desired shape that you want for an example we're going to use the ellipse shape we're just going to uh, select it here or insert it here as you can see now, the shape is just like an oval. An oval is not as perfect as a circle and looks like an egg. Another shape is the square. We're just going to select the square tab or the square tool. After selecting the shape, we can now also proceed to the drawing area and using also the left button of your mouse you're going to press and hold it for you to be able to insert your desired shape the square has four equal sides another shape is the rectangle as you can see here below the square tab you can see the rectangle tab all you need to do is to select the specific shape and insert it here on your desired area inside your drawing area. A rectangle has two opposite equal sides. Last shape is the triangle. The triangle has three sides. These are the different steps on how you are going to insert 
some shapes using the tax paint application. But don't you know that there is another way for you to insert a shape? For an example, we are going to use the paint tool. For us to be able to um, create a shape using the paint tool, first, we're going to create a new blank page again. After creating a new blank page, you can now select the paint tool. And using your left button or using the left button of your mouse, you can just drag it for you to be able to create your own desired shape. For an example, you want to create a triangle. Using the left button of your mouse, you're just going to select it. And you can now create your own desired shape without using the shape tool inside your tools area. These are the two different types of techniques that you can use in creating or inserting different types of lines and shapes using the Tax Paint application. If you have any questions regarding our topic for today, don't hesitate to message me in our LMS. Once again, this is Teacher Charmaine Azaleda, your computer teacher. Goodbye and get best.